Hello everyone and welcome to my video blog. Time to time, not very often, I will post very short videos on a painful subject that hurts me and hurts many of you who play the musical instrument and want to be artistic in different ways. And together, I hope, we will be facing the problem and we will be trying to solve it. So please do leave your comments, please ask your questions, please share your experience. So let's try all together to solve this particular problem that I will be giving you every single time. So, um, I would like you to imagine that this blog is not a teacher and a student or experienced musician and, and uh, amateur musician conversation. This is um, just a, 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 the platform for us to communicate. And uh, today I will be talking about memory. And memory is my personal problem that I tried to solve so many years and this is that really interests me and uh, there are many interesting books on that there are many interesting videos on that again if you if you know something that has helped you please do share this information with us and before I uh, give you my hot tip on how to memorize I'll tell you a little story and the story is about my brother one day I have lunch with my brother and I, I tell him, you know, Sasha, this is really, really crazy. I can't memorize things. I, I keep forgetting actors' names, uh, names of the books, names of the streets. I'm not even mentioning phone numbers and dates of birth. Forget about it. Just a very simple thing. I can't remember the name of the singer. You know, I can't remember the name of the whatever, the brand or shop where I'm going to. Oh, he said, well, 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 I'm your older brother, don't worry, I'm going to help you. This is amazing, amazing video game that I found. It's incredible. You'll play a couple of days and you'll be another person. You will learn, you will memorize anything you want. Really? Okay, what is it? What is it? What is the name of this game? Tell me, tell me, tell me. And then he says, well, you know, I don't remember. This is exactly what my life is like. I am trying to memorize and I'm failing. So I came up with a three-day trick. Uh, you are, let's imagine, you are memorizing, like in my case, um, it's a, a Greek piano concerto. <clears throat> and uh, I will give you a very simple example, of course, because it's all the same, more or less. And the first day, let's say you have 15 minutes because you have to do so many other things and you can but you have to you have to practice every day you know and uh, so you have this 15 minutes and you can memorize a little bit in our case it's four bars of the main theme and first day you have to imagine that you are Sherlock Holmes you're a detective you need to find any everything you can in these four bars and these four bars they go like that <laughs> Of course, you know this music, so your emotional memory is already covered. This is our first step, the emotional memory, because one day maybe Marta Argyll or Barnboy or Horowitz or Rubinson played it and you thought, oh, this is beautiful, I want to play it. So you know, you would recognize it, you would hear that this is the Greek piano concerto. So your emotional memory is covered. Now the second thing is your visual memory. You really need to dig into the text and you, you need to analyze it. The first two bars are in A minor. The second two bars are in C major. So your knowledge tells you that this is a relative major and minor, and this is already a structure, two plus two bars. Now the next <coughs> important thing here is the rhythm, because rhythm is the same. And then exactly the same in the next two bars. And the other thing is of course the melody that is also repetitive, so there is nothing much that you can sing it. And the same with the C major. So you know that all. And now you can try to play the same thing, still looking at the score, but with an idea that you've analyzed, and you know that there is C major, there is A minor, there is rhythm, there is melody, 
and there is plus your your happiness for playing this very well known piece so then you play it again with looking at the score and analyzing it so you still look there and you still you you you, you repeat what you've learned okay now the second day you have to imagine that you close one eye and you can't 100% look at the score. You have to look 50% when you are unsure. So you wake up in the morning and or you are when you have time, you sit at the piano and you think, okay, what do I remember from yesterday? I remember that okay, it starts with with a minor and then it goes to the major. What was the minor? Was it D minor, B flat minor? No, it was the easiest. It was an A minor. Okay, where is the A minor? Then you find the main harmony of the A minor. And what was the melody? Okay, I heard the recording of the Rubinstein, so I should remember. So then you play what you remember, and most probably on the second day, you'll make a couple of mistakes. So you maybe will play something like that. Uh, uh, you ended up somewhere completely different. Where I'm going to? I'm going to the C major. So then you will look, you will point out the mistake, and then you will correct the mistake, and you'll be great again. And then the third day, you close the score. And you quietly, before you start playing, you say, okay, this is an A minor, this is a C major, this is the tonic chord, and then the melody goes like that, and the harmony is like that, and the rhythm is like that. And then you, oh, but I really enjoy playing that because of the Rubinstein, blah, 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 blah. And then you just play it again. to go on or maybe not it's up to you anyway i hope this helped please do share your feedback and i hope to see you next time most probably next time we talk about steak fried bye bye